Sneaker Show. Let's get this started. I'm Tim. Nathan's here. Sometimes we call him Tabasco, Tabby, Tab, the Fit Man. What's up, Tabasco? Good to see you, brother. It's good to be here. Then we've got Shay. He goes by 403 Fredo. So you'll hear us calling him Fredo, Shazo, Jeff Shazos. How are you, brother? Good, man. Happy hey. to be here. We are going to talk some sneakers. My God, that's the plan. We've got some to talk about. I've got the Jordan 1 Low OG in Atmosphere Gray. I've also got news on the Bikey Air airship from Nigel Sylvester. What did you guys bring? I brought a the Mac Attack again. We've got a fun collab, and we'll dive into that. Uh, we touch a little bit on some Jordan 3s and a Jordan 1 that looks very promising. Yeah, I got a, a new SB Dunk Low that's coming out, and we're going to talk about some boxing boots today. Without further ado, shoes in the news. This says Bike Air on the back. Beautiful blue suede. It is an airship from Nigel Sylvester, the BMX King. What a gorgeous, simple, clean silhouette this is. We've seen some airships come out in the last year, but nothing that's got us, I think, as excited as this one. We've got a release date for these, May the 10th. Guys, I'm going to explain a little bit about it, then you tell me if you like them. So Nigel Sylvester, the thing that's making this difference is the B on the heel. It's a white leather base, baby blue suede. He gifted a pair to P.J. Tucker on court the other night. Nigel was first like on the scene with that pair of Jordan 1s that looked distressed. I think both of you guys had them. They're uh, cream and then the red outsole. Got a little mini swoosh on the toe of that one. These have the mini swoosh on the toe as well. It's just so clean and wearable. The look is just different enough from a Jordan 1 that it's like a need that extra leather on the third lace hole is a little bit of a different look. This part right here, you can zoom in. It's like there's some extra stitching. Other than that, it's very much looking like a Jordan 1, but is this a must-have? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great pair of shoes. They're coming out, hey, because everything I've seen that, that was saying they were friends and family. Oh, from what I saw just Googling before we came on today is they have given it a release date May 10. That, that was is, like a 15 oh, hour ago sick. news article. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm really hoping these do come out. Uh, I seen that video of PJ getting them and, uh, I could really get down with these, I think. Yeah. These are sick. I don't think I would go out of my way to pay resale for them, but if you guys need me to enter some raffles for you, I do. I got you. This was a late addition to the podcast just before coming on. This is my first time viewing them. Tabasco, what do you know about these? Look at this, hey? Uh, classic, all one color and white Jordan uh, color blocking. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mauve, holiday 2023. They're mocking it up like it's uh, almost like the sea foam with that, that suede or that nubuck, you could call it. And it's got this just beautiful light purple. All, all around it, and white hits everywhere. White on the cuff, white laces, white midsole, and then just that, that nice lilac on the bottom too. And if this is what comes out, I could get down with it very much so. Tim, what do you think about these? Yeah, it's always interesting when you see what actually happens compared to the mock-ups. Sometimes the mock-ups are accurate. If it's this, that's exciting. I like the lilac a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what mauve is. There have been mauve shoes in the past, like the 700s, I think. There was a Yeezy pair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't look like this color. They were like brown and gray. Fredo? Um, I like this color blocking. Um, I don't know what exactly I would wear this with, but I would find a way. Um, yeah, I think the lie looks sick. Um, if they do my size, I'll try and pick up a pair. Love it. Ooh, another one for Tabby. The Air Jordan 3 Palomino, August 19th. This is coming out. 
This looks like somebody just uh, coffee dyed their reimagines they just got. Hey, it's probably the best description of this. Yeah. It is uh, brown and cream and gray all over. That's it's got some happening. mocha vibes for sure. A lot of mocha vibes. Uh, I personally don't really mess with this, but I thought it was an interesting shoe. Um, and it looks like uh, like Nike and Jordan are in full force with that, that brown mocha sail colorway and throwing that on shoes this year. I think maybe it's the brown elephant print that might might be too much. There's something about it that I don't quite like. I think if it was lighter, it'd be a lot better. Yes, and they've got the extra elephant print on the where the laces uh, are. Yeah. Yeah. No bueno. But this is an actual pair. We've heard tale of mm -hmm. this, but this looks like a real picture. <clears throat> exactly. Okay. Shay, what do you got for shoes in the news? Um, so Caleb Plant has a big fight next weekend, and he will be wearing these What the Dunk inspired boxing boots for the match. Um, I think they turned out so cool. Um, I don't know if you guys remember too, but this is the same guy that wore those like Freddy Krueger inspired boots uh, in a fight like a while back that I think we talked about. Yep. Um, but yeah, super cool to see like stuff like this being worn like in big fights. So. And they did it accurate to the dunks. Yeah. Yeah, really accurate. So this they is the right really side good. with the pigeon and the tie-dye swirl, plaid toe, and then left side with the Heineken green and the gold stars. What is this, like a Ray Guns Martian? Exactly. Yeah. And more elephant print. Lucky 13, red lace on this side, some denim up top. Yeah, they turned out really good. You think you need that uh, that Velcro on the toe? They look tight. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, like I don't know. I'm not a boxing guy, but I feel what? like a lot of the boots have that kind of stuff on them, and I don't know like why. But I like that they're uh, different colors, though. I think that was a cool touch. For sure. Sliding on through. Look at this. Hey, the social status air Mac attack. I'm so glad that there was articles and information about this because I seen uh, PJ Tucker post these on his story and I like screen capped a video of him going over them and I was taking awful screenshots from said video because I was like, these are so cool. So let's get into it. Social status uh, has had numerous Nike collabs. The most recent being those free lunch dunks, the chocolate milk and the strawberry milk, the mids. Um, and no shortage of brands they've collaborated with. There's a, there's some Adidas. I do believe there was some New Balance as well. Great stuff coming from there. Why is it great stuff, you might ask? Social Status is a division of the Whitaker Group, uh, making it a sister company of Ama Manier. So it's no secret why mm. these come out so fire, because uh, James Whitner has his hand in these as well. So anyways, we've got three colorways. Removable layer underneath. One of them is a... Green cream, green cream and gum. Mm -hmm. uh, the green is uh, satin, really pops. I think this is the best pair. If you cut the satin, you get this uh, this shaggy suede. Underneath, it's yellow there, very almost Green Bay Packers inspired. The other pair is panda black, or a uh, black and white. And if you take the white off the swoosh, I do believe that one's leather. Uh, from zooming in on it. You get a black suede underneath for the swoosh. Make these full panda. And then uh, the blue pair at the bottom, translucent outsole. Nice touch. I, that looks like denim on the outside. And mm. uh, you cut that underneath. You've got a lighter blue shaggy suede. Uh, these all look really sharp. The translucent outsole on that really makes a pop. That black pair would be super wearable. I love that green pair. I would not cut them. <laughs> Maybe just the back tab or something, get the social status logo popping out. But I'm a fan of these. I'd pick these up in one of the colorways anyway. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. If you'd rock any of the pairs, what you guys think the best pair is, let me know, Timmy. Agree. Like. A lot. Not sure which pair more or what to do. Maybe keep one whole and then mess with the other one. I do like them mismatched like this. I didn't think that there was like a silhouette out there that I was unfamiliar with, but I don't know the Mac attack and I would like to get it. it it's kind of mid cut. Hey, 
Yeah, a little bit. Not quite a low, not quite a high. Athletic shoe, looks light on the foot. Yeah, it looks like a good summer shoe. Great with any shorts. Get those on in the gym? Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Correct. <laughs> Fredo. Um, as much as I love the gum sole on the green pair, I'm not a big fan of the satin. So if I had to pick a pair, I'd probably pick the blue one. Um, mm. But I would take probably the blue or the black if I had the option. Interesting. And yeah, very, uh, very cream colored leather on that black pair. Hey, I guess on the green pair as well. But they've definitely. Yeah, it's like gray on the blue pair, but cream on these other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, like those two pairs look so aged and so retro, and then the blue pair looks like so crisp and out icy. of the box. Yeah, icy is the best way to put that for sure. So these are coming out when? Do you know? Did not have a release date yet. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah. Social status, Mac attack. Thumbs up. We're curious to see more. Want them in hand. We've got another first look. Sneaker Show podcast exclusive. Fredo with more. Uh, yeah, so I don't know anything about skateboarding, but apparently Yudo Horagam probably said that wrong. Apparently he's amongst the most elite in the sport, and Homie now has his own take on the SB Dunk Low. Uh, so we're mainly looking at a white and neutral gray base with the brown outsole and some other hits of brown and pink throughout. Has like a cool little cross feather insignia kind of thing that can be found on the insole and stamped on the lateral heels. Uh, dope little touch too with his name under the tongue on the SB tag. Uh, I rock with these heavy. I think they'd be a super easy wear, but curious to see what you guys think about these. Tim. First blush is that they're hot. I love a white and gray shoe. The Neapolitan hits are good too. The pink lace would probably go hard. They look lush. They look really nice. I don't know how to say the guy's name either. And this is the first time I've heard of him, but good job getting a yeah. show, uh, your own sneaker there. Yeah, I think I didn't read much into him, but I guess he's won a couple Olympic gold medals. So hmm, okay. gotta be decent, you know? <laughs> Tabby. Very cool, uh, very nice materials, well-executed shoe. Yeah, not not the typical color palette we see, but uh, I think it comes together real nice. Yeah, the materials look nuts on these. Mm -hmm. Brown outsole and then the pink gum right in the middle of it, like you stepped on bubblegum kind of look. Yeah, I wonder what these will really sell for. You know I love that gray and white. And the leather on these looks pretty all right. This is the Jordan 1 Low OG. It's in that 85 cut. They call it atmosphere gray. There was a high, I think it was called stealth gray in the last year that is similar to this. It's got that like uh, the color blocking that you find on the Travis Scott fragment where the toe, where like the... The lacing on the toe is the same color as the base. And the difference to these is there is some suede. The gray is suede, the base is leather, and the leather, look at that, looks squishy. It looks really nice. I wonder if this is a pair that's going to resell uh, or if this is a pair that just comes and goes. Some do. I, uh, I might even like these more than the neutral gray lows, depending. Once you get them in hand, it might be different. Maybe it'd be better if it was all leather and not not the suede hits, but they look really good from here. Do I know more about them? September 8th. Yeah. For 140 US. So it'll be a fall birthday. release. Coming out for Fredo's birthday. Hey, I'll ask you this. When the neutral gray lows came out, everybody was buying that uh, that yellow marker to give them the vintage treatment. I don't know that I see people doing that as much anymore. Has the making it look old thing passed us by? Or are we actually trying to wear old shoes? Or are we buying shoes that already look like they're old, like the Lost and Founds? Would you hit these with the yellow pen if you got them? Where are we at on using the uh, the aftermarket distressing? Um, 
I probably wouldn't hit these with them. I think that's uh, it's a different vibe and they just look super clean on their own. But yeah, I don't think you see it as much anymore because we're getting it uh, like with the Reimagine series. And I mean, look at those Mac attacks and stuff like that. So there's shoes out there for people that want it. Um, I think at one point it it was just like the trendy thing to do, but I think we don't see it as much because uh, on the same note, it's like it's really for people that want to do it. You know what I mean? Right. Because I mean, look at like uh, like Cran still does it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of the customizers like Chef Hoyle, Hoyle, mm -hmm. Ho Hoyle, whatever it is. He's that skateboarder, uh, right? Sure. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Correct. Um, and then there's like that filthy guy and stuff like that. So. It's out there. I think there's always a market for it. But yeah, that uh, that shoe though. Back to that. Didn't initially like it when you showed the pictures, and then you see the on foot, and it's like, oh, that that could work. Could get down with that. Yeah, it's a wild ride this sneaker life. And then you get them in hand, and your opinion might change again. <laughs> Better or worse. Fredo, are we gonna buy these for your birthday? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm on my second pair of the neutral gray one lows, and I think i prefer these more um i looked the other day on stock x to see if there was early pairs actually and there's none up yet but yeah i would love a pair of these i think they're super clean sick i like when i bring a pair and everybody's like that's a sick pair <laughs> does this guy know how to party or what <laughs> So we've got like a, a little state of the podcast to talk about. We've got pickups of the week and we've got the game to play. Does it fit coming up? Let's start with a sincere thank you to all the new listeners and people who are reaching out to be part of what we're doing. It's like gas in our tank for real. It's very encouraging to hear people say that they like the content of this podcast and that they keep coming back for more. We have a few big guests lined up, guests that were like, no way, that guy wants to be on, well, let's get him on. Way. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it's just, sometimes it rains and it pours. Sometimes you're like, I wonder if anybody's out there. And then like last week, it just, it, it was really encouraging how many people were reaching out. So thank you for listening and for watching. We have been asked to be part of an event that's coming up on Air Max Day with momentum and it was such a big like pat on the back for them to reach out and go would you like to be part of something we're doing so we're we're fired up for that it'll be the activation event for the 86 big bubble that we featured last week and uh, the boys are coming in we're even going to have tabby and fredo in person making the big drive from alberta to be here in saskatoon next sunday my son's excited i'm excited we're all getting together we can't wait to like capture that energy and put it here on, on Sneaker Show Podcast. So that's what's coming up for us. What have you got in hand that is new this week? Fredo, I know you've got a pair, at least one. Yeah, I got two this week, actually. Let's go. Um, so I managed to pick up the Reimagine 3. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not much to say about it. They're so clean in person. Um. Still waiting on a fit pick for him, but it's coming soon. And then I had to pick up a new coaching shoe. So picked up the taxi ones. And yeah, uh, for those that don't know, I, I coach a hockey team for the college here. And this is our school color. So those look so good, be lo dude. Be looking good on the road. So yeah, those are my two pickups from the week. The taxis, I've always been surprised. I thought that they would be a thing. Like I really thought with that color blocking, the white panel on the side with the color on the toe box. But after getting like them in hand too, and like seeing how nice they actually are, I'm shocked that they don't have like the resale that I thought that it would. I, and like, what's what's so bad about yellow? If that shoe was purple or blue, it, it's a good yellow too. Story. It's not like a like it's almost. It's exactly like a taxi yellow. It's like a sunflower yellow. It's really nice. It's not like obnoxious. Yeah, sometimes the pollen color can be a little off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, congrats, bro. And your picture of the three when you held it up to the blue sky, dude, that was such a clean shot. Yeah, they, they're they so nice. And like just the box and like everything that comes with them is so sick. 
I was showing my son pictures of the 86 big bubble and cause he's looking to get his next pair and we're excited. We want to make the right decision. He was looking at some mids and I was like, no, no, we're not going to do mids. And he's like, you really can't tell the difference between a, a mid and a high. He's holding up every mid being like, are these highs? I'm like, you got to look at the tongue tag. Mm -hmm. But uh, I showed him the, the big bubbles and I was like, there's a chance maybe all of us are getting these and maybe you could like, you, you could get the team shoes like everybody else flip through the whole thing and he goes i just like the box i don't <laughs> the rest of it's okay but that distressed looking box he's like that's rad i'm like you get along I, well with fredo i wasn't like super into him and then i saw like i even seen on foots and i wasn't super into him and then i can't remember who it was but i put it in one of the group chats that i'm in and this guy did an unboxing and had an on foot and it just like i don't know now i want them so it's crazy how one guy's picture can change how you yeah. feel. I don't know if it was the filters or what, because I even seen like on foots and like different people unboxing before and just wasn't into them. But have you got more shoes on the way? This is just what's landed right now. Uh, not yet. I'm hoping to pick up either those Romero DBs or those one lows, but they're not in the mail quite yet. Yeah. Tabasco. What do we got? Funny you should ask. From the list. They're back. They're back. And they're so good. They're so good. I put them on and they're everything you want them to be. This is, uh, like, I've had Pine Greens. I've had I've had a lot of Jordan 1s in hand, okay? When we talk about quality, these are as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned. The leather is so soft. You put these on, they feel unlike any other jordan one it's just it conforms immediately to your foot they're beautiful they go with everything this pair is so clean they were a little bit worn but they're a great deal they are they were a great deal i mean look at this look mm -hmm. at this does that not look are they shattered backboard quality phantasmic you should be asking shattered backboard if they're mm -hmm. shadow quality okay that's what i got for you this week and if we're talking things in the mail and if we're talking group chats, and if we're talking homies, and if we're talking people reaching out, and if we're talking good feelings, we got men years in the mail. Dead stock, size 11, from the boy to the boy. I am stoked. I'm hoping they touch down this week. I need them on foot in Saskatoon. Let them know I'm home. It's happening. Uh, got uh, got a great deal on those shout out our guy v joe future guest on the pod group chat all-star v joe the man uh the man behind the clothing brand pardon me if i say this wrong this is how nate said it uh he said olivier league we're gonna go with that uh hey, sounds yeah. correct yeah as long <laughs> that... as you sound confident when you say it it's correct brother <laughs> nate says it i can say it right that's that skateboarder? Yeah, him too. Right. So anyways, uh, yeah, great stuff. Can't wait for my sweatsuit from them to touch down. Guess what colors it is? <laughs> oh, he double dipped. I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. So yeah, can't wait for those to touch down and uh, let's get them big bobbles going, hey? But talking about grays and talking about new shoes and talking about the mail. Tim, you got something to tell us, don't you? Tracking is in. I landed the neutral gray highs. Now I need the lows. It's funny. You can't even celebrate what you've already got. It's not even here yet. You're like, now we need the other ones. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> <laughs> but what's not wearable about them? Like those shadows that you're you're happy to have back in your life. This is one of my sneaker regrets. I had the neutral gray highs. I traded them for something else. Something that I wear, the city market dunks that are like made out of recycled rice bags and a bunch of weird materials. <laughs> they're They're cool shoe for sure. But I, I've regretted letting go of those neutral grays ever since. And now I've got a pair that are pre-worn in. I was always joking about that too. Like they're so stiff, that 85 cut, the leather, it's, it's nice that somebody's put a few steps into these. So we'll see what kind of shape they're in. But I got a great deal and they're going to be here Wednesday. So excited. Fantastic price on those. And dude, from those pictures, they looked perfect. Like they looked real nice. Yeah, we'll see. No box. So that's part of why they're such a good deal can't wear the box anyway <laughs> and i'm i was very close to i couldn't believe it these are just like uh tabasco sent me screenshots hey look this is your size you should look this up this is on marketplace this is on csx this is and uh, it was the same guy had the rain cloud protection pack 
And by the time Nathan had sent me the picture and I sent the guy a message, they were already sold. But um, I, it's funny when you already made a deal, he's already sending something to my address. I was like mad at him. I was resenting him. I was like, how dare you not tell me you had those? You could have thrown them in the box. Could have made this happen in one ship. Come on. That would have been a crazy bulk deal. <laughs> Just two off his list and like yeah. one of them that's like absolutely number one. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been insane. And to get it on the same shipping tag, ah oh, man, I'm so frugal. I'm so cheap. To, that would have been like the biggest that win is that they came in the an, same box. That would have been a nuts unboxing that day. <laughs> you got one of each on. Makes no sense. <laughs> Not, I'm wearing that to Air Max Day. He's got a Jordan High and a New Balance. What's up? There's it's air. <laughs> I, it's on my list. It's off my list. Uh, if you got those though, you'd be sitting there just. Oh yeah. What next? You know what I mean? You'd be lost in the sauce almost. God. It's uh it's wild how many people got in touch after we were talking about the sh shoes on our list and some people to say I've either had those or have those. And uh there was that other future guest that you showed me his Instagram and he has them all. Even like pairs I was going to jokingly put on some Louis Vuitton Air Forces but He's got those. He's got like multiples of those bags to go with it. Shout out at Sneak Ot, the craziest collection you will see on Instagram. My God, I was rocking Mars Yards yesterday or today. Oh, uh, and he's it's got like... the he's got the human made drip, literally dripping Louis bag, which is the coolest Louis bag in existence, if you ask me. With the Virgil Air Forces. Oh my God, because it's a, a sicko is a menace to society again best sneaker ig oh my god he's got the dior highs he, he has the virgil louis the virgil forces but he's also got like the museum ones the mcas and the lemonades and the green one he's got them all he's got the the og fragment highs like there's nothing he doesn't have <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes you feel pretty small really quick you're like I'm really hoping to get some neutral gray highs. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got them too, though, to be fair. But yeah, shout out honestly. him. Yeah, we appreciate the love. We appreciate the feedback. Shout out them. Shout out the group chat. Yeah. There's even pairs in there, like that Corduroy 2002, the brown one with the purple laces. Like, it's the not essence. all. Yeah. Essence. Yeah, yeah. Pairs that we've talked about, I'm like, has this guy been listening? Because he's just got every pair we talk about. <laughs> Fun fact, he has been listening. Yeah, shout out for real. Thanks Big for shout being out. there, bro. We'll have you in here soon. And of course, we will be playing the game. Let's find out. Does it fit? Let's go. Are you ready? I got my finger on the button, brother. Fredo, are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. Correct. Correct. All right, does it fit? I'm here. I'm your host, Young Tab, the Fit Man, the Fittish Bulldog, Wavy Boy Smith. And for the uninitiated, <laughs> if the outfit is popping off, we're going to say it fits. If it's on a different wavelength, we're going to simply say it does not fit. Today we have Mr. Chin, Can't Go Broke Baby, and Mind of Malcolm. We're representing heavy in here. So let's get into it with our guy Chin. Details on the fit. It's got the 2011 Space Jam 9. That's how tapped in this guy is. The Space Jam 9. Most of you guys seen Space Jam. Didn't even know that shoe existed. <laughs> Dickies flannel. We all love Dickies outerwear, workwear. Everybody's got it on. It unites us all. White Levi's 511. Call 911. These are an emergency. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> And uh, to top it off, he's got the Alexander Wang hoodie. This is crazy. What'd you steal this off ASAP Rocky? This is nuts. This fits, bro. The nines? This might be the first fit we've ever had on here with nines. I give mm -hmm. it a 10, though. This is fire. <laughs> this bangs. Shout out our guy. Future guest, I'm sure. Let's go. Tim, what are you feeling about this? Dude, I'm going to try to match your energy. I like it a lot. It's very good. And he's doing art in a warehouse? What's going on here? Mu in... Music video. Okay, cool. He's putting out Bangare after Bangare. Uh -huh. I rarely see the nines and go, that looks good, but these look good. Fits. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's not a lot of people I think that could throw on some like white jeans and some nines and make it look this good. So I'm gonna definitely say this fits. Gang, gang. Hell yeah. Let me slide. Come on. There we go. Whoo! The boy. The boy. Hamled boy. out. <laughs> it's like a wavy crocodile hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Swerving, dude. <laughs> He's a weapon no matter what he puts on. Swiss Army knife. Absolute yeah. nail gun. Mind of Malcolm. So I'm going to read to you the rundown of the fit that he sent to me as he sent it to me because you could not do it justice any other way. The Dickies Eisenhower jacket. Stone Island hoodie. Uniqlo... Arisim T, Carhartt Air, uh, Aviation Cargos. Uh, he calls these shoes the Your Mama Doesn't Have These Fours. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are some Vitali rings because you know he's always accessory out. Fits. Come on. Is this even a question? I don't know if Malcolm's ever had a fit on Instagram that doesn't fit. So, yeah, this is a no brainer. If he did, I wouldn't believe it. I just think it's like a deep fake or something. <laughs> yeah, if you see him in something that doesn't fit, that ain't him. You didn't see it. No. It's got how be subtle him. wearing the Stone Island hoodie, no patch showing, no badge in. Yeah, that's it's almost reckless, hey. But he's got it on for the lads. What uh, What are you liking about this, hey? What like what sticks out to you here? It all fits like how it should. That's how mm -hmm. cargo should look. That's how yeah. a hoodie under a jacket should look. It's proportional. It's symmetric. I love the, what are they called? Like monotone fits where like it's all like mostly one color. Yeah. Mo yeah. Um, I love that. It's all like the same color, the midsole on those manieres. Sick. Oof. Yeah. Can we I catch that. his drive? We need that. He's putting, he's <laughs> like the lights on the Eiffel Tower. He's putting it on. I I would never have the confidence to go monochromatic. I'd probably go green pants or something to break it up, but it looks so good like this. Looks fantastic. Yeah. Good job, Malcolm. Great job. Let's bring it on home. Here we go. Again, future guest, we had them lined up for next weekend, but unfortunately, Air Max Day called, so we're gonna just push them back a week. We were just gonna, we were gonna get them on this week, just didn't work out. But hey, we're uh, we're about making it work here at Sneaker Show Podcast. We're where you want to be. We want to be with you. So uh, details here, our guy can't go broke, baby. We got the Alavir hat, original drop. I'm I'm told looks fire looks mm -hmm. so good he's got a this never that puffer that's so good we know i'm a big paisley guy uh, especially a paisley jacket guy this is fantastic talk about how malcolm's items fit this is right in that category this looks great and then uh we got naked and famous denim uh, waxed black jeans uh, that's fantastic why they look like that. that's why they look great not leather can't be doing that that'd be uncomfortable same look all the twice the comfort i would even say and then uh what the fours what the fit <laughs> right here okay this is fantastic this is beautiful this is something anybody could put on and look good and that's how you know it's an absolute cheat code of an outfit this is fantastic he's putting it on great shot as well what a showcase what a specimen fits tim here here i second that i, I can't decide what i want more the jacket or the pants i love that jacket i've seen that jacket in uh, army green and was so close i had it carded but other priorities come up fits so nice shirt just coming out enough at the bottom wearing his keys on the waistband you, you guys ever pull that move off no, no i see a lot of guys wearing the keys right on like the on the belt loop or uh it's just noisy, you know? It's a little bit of a ching ching Sounds like dad's coming along. He's got a pocket full of change. He just headed out to the car wash, but sick fit. I digress. I love the what the fours. I, I've never known how to wear them. That's how you wear them. You wear them with pants like that. That looks great. Can't wait to meet you, BB. Fredo. 
Uh, yeah, that puffer's insane. Pants are sitting right on the shoes. Hats fire. This fits. 12 out of 10. 14. That's our guy. Yeah, That's dude. our guy. That's the boy. So, yeah, shout out the group chat for uh, giving us the fits this week. We really appreciate that. Shout out the uh, shout out the boys for we'll, we'll get everybody. Everybody's getting a getting a spin on the ride. Yeah, join the Beautiful. carousel. Beautiful. Pay the ticket, take the ride. Ride the wave. We'll see your pictures here. We'll see you here. We'll see you at the big momentum activation for Air Max Day. This is Tim, Tabby, and Fredo signing off for now. Next time we see you, everybody's big bubbled up.